That's probably enough. All right, so I got a team, and I want everybody to be on my team. Okay, I want you to be on my team. If you want to be on my team, I will select you. I will choose you to be on my team. Okay, John 15, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and adorn and a ordained you right they shall not build and another inhabit they shall not plant and another eat for as the days of the of a tree are the days of my people and mine elect shall enjoy the work of their hands it's my elect so if you're on my team it's because i chose you of course you got to want to be on my team if you don't want to be on my team i won't ever choose you pretty simple right Okay, but if you do want to be on my team and I choose you, I select you, I will in no wise cast you out. And all that the Father has given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And I will never leave you nor forsake you. Okay, so this is going to be forever, right? And all that are on my team, they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. So if somebody wanted to come along and take you off my team, that's impossible. Can't happen. Won't ever happen. So you don't have to worry about that. Once you're on my team, you're on my team. That's it. All right, and then let's say, uh, you know, I'm never going to kick you off the team. Nobody's ever going to come and take you off my team. Let's say you're on my team, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I don't want to be on this team no more. If we believe not, yet I abide faithful, I can't deny myself. So once you're on my team... You're not just on my team, but what what I do is I give you a vaccine, so it's more than just being a name on the roster, okay? So in the world, the world gives you a vaccine, right? Just like the, the serpent's bite. The serpent bites you, and he injects his venom in you, I give you a vaccine similar similar to that, but much, much different. Kind of like the opposite, if you will. So when I give you my vaccine, um, you will never die, right? And so what happens is you become a new creature, okay? Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature, Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. So when you get the world's vaccine, you turn into a crocodile. But when you get my vaccine, you turn into a new creature, a creature that will never die. Right? Okay. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. So you are a new creature once you're on my team. And what happens is, I, the to just put it the way the Bible puts it, I come into you and make my home in you. 
Okay, so I'm now living inside you. And I'm never going to die. So if I'm never going to die, you're never going to die. All right? We will come unto him and make our abode with him. Right? So once we are in, in you, you are sealed with the holy seal of God. Right? And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. All right, so you're in this fleshly body, but you're sealed unto the day of redemption when, you, when you're cashed in and you're transformed into the glorified body. Right? And so be confident. That once you're on my team, that's it. You're never going to lose your salvation. I'm never going to kick you off my team. Nobody's ever going to come and take you off my team. And even if you don't want to be on my team anymore, I can't forsake myself because I'm in you. I've injected you with the this vaccine. And that vaccine has my blood in you. And once I'm, my blood is in you, that's it. You're sealed forever unto the day of redemption. And you have everlasting life. Okay, being confident of this very thing, that he which has begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Once saved, always saved, is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Never lose your salvation. And Jesus is the Prince of Peace. He wants you to have peace. He wants you to have comfort. He wants to give you that comfort and that assurance that you're never going to die. That you have everlasting life right now. Pretty simple? Boy, I hope so.